All right, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It is your boy Primitive AK here. We are here now to showcase all there is to know about the Battle Pass of Season 1 of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. We got a lot to cover here, so if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you guys hit that sub button, hit that like button. I greatly do appreciate it. Helps the channel grow and gives you more, more motivation to make more videos for you amazing people. But let's first start off by everything there is to know about Season 1 Battle Pass. So for those that are aware, for those that are curious, here is your Battle Pass. We'll zoom in real quick so you guys can see this bad boy in action. Um, uh, this is the Season 1 Battle Pass screenshot. Um, as you guys can see, it looks a lot different from what you're probably used to seeing inside of the Battle Pass. And that is because there are going to be what's known as sectors. And within those sectors are actually four separate tracks to unlock specific rewards. So there will obviously be your free track of the Battle Pass, which will give you your free items. You don't have to buy the Battle Pass. But doing so will give you a lot more rewards previous to how we've seen it in other Call of Duty. So just to briefly explain this, there's a lot of text explaining this, but I'm going to explain this in a way so that way everybody can understand it. So for example, I'm unaware of exactly how many tracks there is. I think there's about 20 to 25, somewhere around that number. And with each track, you'll be able to have four separate tracks within those tracks. So for example, let's say for, I didn't actually count this, but you know, for anyone that wants to count, you're more than welcome to do so. Let's just say, for example, this screenshot has 25 different 25 different tiles. So these are all each individual tiles that you can unlock throughout the game. Within those tiles is four separate titles, and doing so, you will need to get, get uh, Battle Pass tokens, and they say tokens are acquired by simply just playing the game. There will be a grand total of 100 tokens, so I would assume 25 different tracks for a total of four different tokens within each track, amounting up to a grand total of 100 different rewards uh, and Battle Pass tokens that you can use to unlock. And what's great about this Battle Pass system is that you don't you're not required to go into the standard linear path so if you guys know it's in the previous games it's always from track one all the way through 100 and you really don't have a choice of which reward you want to unlock with this one you have different paths that you can take to unlocking your battle pass uh, eventually if you play the game enough you will unlock everything in the game but doing so this will allow you let's say i want to unlock a specific weapon a lot earlier you'll be able to do so just by going a separate track so you can go up this route for example you can go this route all the way to the right through the middle doesn't matter you can pretty much pick any different track that you want which gives you a lot more customizability to be able to unlock specific rewards so long story made short 25 different tracks four rewards within each track 100 battle pass tokens grand total and this will allow you to unlock specific rewards for uh, whichever one you want and there are obviously what's known as high value targets think of them as like a main item quest within a sector you will have see a bunch of hvt across different sectors which will actually unlock specific skins and operators for those specific uh, characters and they do state, here's some of the blueprints that they did mention will be available within the Battle Pass, uh, known as the Orbiter, which is uh, part of the Custopia weapon platform, which will be one of the new DLC weapons as well. On top of that, you'll get a bunch of double XP tokens and COD points within the bundle. Uh, while it did not specifically state, I would assume they're going to do the same thing as they have in previous games where you'll have enough Battle Pass uh, b battle pass tokens to unlock COD points to actually be able to purchase the next season's Battle Pass as well. So this is actually a very good and very welcome change as well. Uh, first things first, we did discuss this in our previous video. The BASP SMG Bruin Ops platform will be available at Sector A6 and HVT Target, and as well, it will be free to completely unlock this as well will take you a bit longer if you have the free version of the battle pass but if you have the paid battle pass you'll be able to get this a little bit quicker next up we have the victus xmr sniper rifle this will be available part of the imperatorium platform available at sector a7 hbt part of the free track as well we also have a brand new hbt operator skin at sectors a9 a11 and a18 these will be part of these skins that you guys currently see in front of you the unseen i'm actually really excited to give that one a shot and uh, you'll be able to unlock the Cortac Milsim Operator Skin available at Sector A9, uh, part of the HBT mission for that as well. Moving on, we also have the Yursade Zero Operator Skin available at Sector A11 HBT. Uh, this is a nice little screenshot that you guys can see there which is actually above you. Sorry, I'm <laughs> getting them confused here. And then moving on, we have our Rose Skin Operator, which is available at Sector A18, HVT as well. Part of Shadow Company, for those that are not aware of what Rose is or you haven't played previous CODs, this is a skin that has played Warzone for quite some time uh, because it was very hard to see it in a lot of the dark corners. So it seems like they have negated that in Warzone 2. They made damn sure that you could not have that issue uh, in this game. So uh, nice to see that they changed that. But that is your Rose Skin for Warzone 2. 
And moving on, if you complete the map for Golden Zeus, White Hot, you'll be rewarded the White Hot Weapon Blueprint. Uh, this will be available, like I said, part of the map Golden Zeus, uh, which will reach 100% completion. So once you finish the full battle pass, you'll be able to unlock this specific challenge to get more of these rewards right here. And they do state here, a grand total of 20 sectors, excluding the bonus sectors. So that's pretty good there as well. Moving on, we do have some uh, we do have some bundles here, which are going to be showcased. Um, we'll get into what's going to be included in that shortly. But first things first, we have the Desert Rogue Pro Pack, which will be available for twenty dollars. Once again, that's twenty dollars, not COD points. So you have to purchase this with actual money, and you'll be rewarded with uh, some decent looking skins here, a bunch of other trinkets that they mention, as well as twenty four hundred COD points to go with your bundle as well. Moving on, we have three brand new FC stars, which are going to be dropping as bundles as well within the store. We have the Neymar Jr. Operator Bundle Tracer Pack, which will be debuting on November 21st as a tracer pack. Uh, it doesn't specifically say exactly what is going to be included, but we'll be sure to stay tuned and cover these. You guys know I'm the Bundle Lord. We'll be covering everything there is to know about that one. Next up is the November 25th Bundle Tracer Pack Paul Pogba Operator Bundle. I don't watch football, guys. Just so, I don't really know any of these guys. I know the names. I just don't know much about them, to be honest. Like I said, I know the names. I just don't really pay attention to that sport very often. But uh, we have Tracer Pack Paul Pogba Operator Bundle, which will include Tracer Weapons as well. And the last bundle, a part of this trio, will be the November 29th Tracer Pack Messi Operator Bundle, which will be available on November 29th, including a bunch of brand new Tracers. Unfortunately, they don't showcase what exactly is going to be included with the weapons, but here's the skins for those that are curious on what they look like. We also have CDL bundle team packs which will be dropping. They did state these will be customized based on their team's preference, um, so we'll be able to unlock those. They'll be purchased avail uh, purchasable part of the 2023 launch season. Uh, my guess is these will drop sometime... Uh, uh, but it looks like they're available before Major 1, which starts on December 15th. So my guess is later this month or early next month as well. Moving on, we have additional bundle highlights. We have the Executive Warfighter, uh, which is going to be a bundle dropping. It does not state it's a tracer, but it has two weapon blueprints and an operator skin as well. We also have the Seven Sloth Bundle. Uh, interesting name for a bundle there. Uh, another operator bundle doesn't specify if there's tracer packs. And we also have the Seven Greed Bundle, which will be dropping later on throughout the season. But uh, it's great news that we're getting tracer packs pretty early on throughout the season. I know they're usually pretty stingy with releasing the tracer packs early on throughout the game. But uh, overall, I'm pretty excited to jump in. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, which are you most excited for? I'm excited mostly for the tracer packs as well as the two brand new DLC weapons that we'll be getting throughout the season. But Hats, hats off to uh, hats off to Call of Duty for giving us a new way to unlock the Battle Pass, and I'm excited to give this one a shot. Make sure you guys stay tuned on the channel. We'll be the first to cover the brand new DLC weapons, as well as some of the Tracer Packs that are going to be dropping later on throughout the season. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Primitive AK, signing out. Peace out, fellas.